This is Speak My Word Ministries Daily. Paul, I'm Travis Zimmerman. This is third in a series of three on lessons learned in the temple tax. It's a story that Matthew has in Matthew chapter 17, verses 24 to 27. I've read the scripture in various parts of it the last two days. I'll do the same thing on this third day. And we're talking about the sons who are paying taxes. You know, everyone is to pay taxes. That's one of the lessons that God teaches us where to pay taxes. And as we as the king, we as children of the king are exempt, there's another lesson here to be learned, probably many, many more, but I'm going to stop with three. But Jesus says, but so that we may not offend them, and again, offend the tax collectors and the Pharisees, so that we may not offend them, go to the lake and throw out your line. So again, Jesus is not saying, hey, this is anarchy. You know, Jesus was rebelling against the system of the Pharisees, these rules of men, and, and coming back to establish the kingdom of God in part. And, you know, and, and here, but not fully yet realized, that's what we can see. But yet, the rules of man were, you know, we're going to pay taxes. And Jesus was not rebelling against that. In fact, just the opposite. He said, pay your taxes. And again, to not offend. So in this specific instance, Jesus is saying, don't offend them in uh, by not paying taxes. I would also take that a little broader, and again, that would be the third lesson today, is don't offend the gospel. You know, uh, Jesus talks about, you know, I did not come to bring peace but a sword, and, and a lot of people get hung up on that. You know, is, 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 he, is he a god of war? You know, ultimately good and evil, you know, that there is going to be a battle, and there's battles in our lives every day. Every day it's a battle between good and evil. There's no middle ground. But yet, when we share the gospel, when we, when we live out our lives, when our actions, our deeds, and our words, don't offend. Try to do your best not to defend. The Bible is not hate speech. The Bible is God's written account of God's love for us. It's a finite account of an infinite God who loves us. Father, thank you for sending Jesus in your name. Amen.